Essay number one. I was born and grew up in the big city of Hanoi, but my grandparents live in the countryside of Tai Bin. I often go visit them in the countryside, but this past summer, I got to do something really cool. I went with my cousin to take care of some big buffaloes in the fields. It was my first time, and I got to watch the buffaloes up close. Let me tell you about my cousin's buffalo. It's a strong and huge boy buffalo. Its whole body is covered in shiny black fur, and its skin is tough and black too. Its head is big, and it always leans forward. Its eyes are big and brown black, and they look pretty fierce. The buffalo also has big, strong horns that stick out from its head. And its ears are big and floppy like leaves, making it look super cute. The muscles on its shoulders and backside are big and strong. Its belly is round and full, and there's a spot of white skin underneath. Its four legs are big and powerful, holding up its huge body. Each foot has shiny black and hard hooves that help it walk on all sorts of land, whether it's dry or wet. And its tail is kinda long, and it keeps waving around to chase away flies and mosquitoes from its back. My cousin told me this buffalo is really strong. During the farming season, as soon as the sun comes up, it goes to the field with my cousin to work hard until really late at night. On days when there's less work, it gets to relax more. It chews on soft grass by the riverbank and takes a dip in the clean river water in the evening. It's so fun to watch it enjoy the cool water, poking its nose out and blowing bubbles. Buffaloes are like best friends to farmers. In the olden times, people used to say buffaloes are the start of a good life to show how important they are to farmers. This buffalo is also super important to my cousin's family. I really like this buffalo a lot. It's made a big difference in my cousin's family's life. Essay number two. During the summer vacation that just happened, my mom and dad let me go visit our countryside. It's really pretty there. We've got this cool river, boats that carry people across it. And fields of ripe golden rice, but what I remember the most is the picture of my grandma's buffalo. This buffalo at my grandma's house is super big. It has this shiny black skin. Its four legs stand tall and strong, like the posts of a house, which helps it move around easily. It's got a big head and two curved horns that look like plow blades. Those horns are like its self-defense tools. Its big black eyes blink a lot, and its two huge ears flop around like big leaves on both sides. This buffalo only has one set of teeth on the bottom, so it chews its food really slowly and carefully. That must make it taste super yummy. Its tail is super long and follows it everywhere. That tail even helps it swish away annoying flies or mosquitoes. Every morning, my grandma takes it to the field so it can munch on grass. The sound of it chewing sounds pretty good. This buffalo is a hard worker. It stops to listen with its ears up after chewing for a while, and then it goes right back to eating. At night. My grandma takes it back to the pen and puts hay in there for it to eat. It just keeps eating until its eyes start closing, and then it curls up to sleep. Who knows when? During the time when they're farming, it has to wake up super early to go to the fields and help with plowing. When they put the plow on its shoulders, it knows what to do. Straight lines appear as it plows. And when it's done, standing at the edge of the field, it seems really happy looking at all the work it did. On days when we're free, my grandma takes me to the field to help with the buffalo. I get to ride on the buffalo's back, and that's so much fun.
I really hope I get to go back to the countryside many times to see my grandma's hard-working buffalo and ride on its back again. I hope the buffalo stays healthy so it can keep helping my grandma. Essay number three. In the countryside, we often see big, strong buffaloes hanging out in the fields. These buffaloes help farmers with their hard work on the farms, making things easier. Today, I got to go with a farmer to the fields. I saw the farmer's group of buffaloes eating grass and taking a rest at lunchtime. Some buffaloes are really big. They either lie down or stand around. Munching on grass in one corner of the field. The sound of them chewing makes a soft rustling noise. Maybe these buffaloes are happy because they get to rest after working hard. Every day, they work a long time before they can have some hay and grass to eat. At first, the buffaloes happily go over to the piles of hay the farmer gives them. The group of buffaloes move closer and eat their meals together. Sometimes they lift their heads like they're listening to what's going on around them. It's like they're shy girls at a party. The baby buffaloes stay close to their moms. They wait for their turn to drink milk, and sometimes they run around and play together. My uncle told me that when the buffaloes feel really happy, they wag their tails. It's like they're talking to people. They have strong horns that move as they nod their heads. I guess for each buffalo, this is their way of showing they're proud. Just by watching the group of buffaloes, I've learned how much work it takes to take care of them. I really like them. Seeing them eat grass makes me happy because I know it's because of the hard work of the farmers.